Hey, welcome back. We're gonna do another video on operating this lever. Now, it seems pretty easy, just push it all the way down. And it is, it is pretty much. There is not much things to it. You push this thing all the way down. You already know, I talk over and over in videos, but I wanted to put it in a separate video. And it changes your, your next exposure, it puts down the mirror, and it cranks the, the shutter um, mechanism on the lens at the same time. So, okay. Things to notice on this thing is um, the cracking lever. You have to do it all the way down, and here it kind of stops right there. But even beyond this, there's a little more that you do. All right, so you do it all the way down here. Down to here is easy, but here you feel it stops, so you have to do it all the way down, and make sure to return it all the way back. I mean, you don't need to return it; it will go back automatically. So you just do this, and it will go back. No, I kind of don't like to let it bounce like that back, so I kind of just follow with with it back, and uh, that should give you uh, uh, um, that should give you the camera the in a position where it's ready to shoot again. Now, it may happen that uh, when you when you're putting a roll of film holder, one of these things. Position. It may happen that when you're putting one of these in, it may not have been contact in good contact with the with these pins right here. So maybe it's just not a well line. Maybe it's not um, um well if it's not well lined, it would not come in. But maybe it's you know a little bit dusty or something. So um, a lot of times when you're trying to shoot, it's cracked. The lens is fine, everything's looking fine. It may happen, I, it has actually happened to me one time only, I have to be honest, and uh, probably five years that I've been using this camera, only one time happened where everything was set up perfectly and it would not give me a shoot. And when I see on the warning over here, as you can see over here, it gives you a couple of warnings, right? So it gave me a warning about the lever. So I'm like, what the hell? The lever is actually, it's its not even wanting to move anymore because the exposure is being done and I don't know what's going on. They will be like stuck and I cannot shoot and what's going on. And I started to freak out, but um, what it actually was is that the, 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 the pins on the back, the contacts were not making contact. So uh, what you need to do in that case, is just in case you, you, you have that situation where it's like, oh my God, it's not shooting, it's not cranking, what's going on? Um, all you need to do really is just put it on the R and just just like wiggle it a little bit, you know, just just move it like halfway back and halfway back, just like that, just to make sure that it's making contact. And that should pretty much fix most of the times that that happened. Would that problem may happen? You know, I just wanted to put it out there. Um, and then in the next episode, we're gonna actually see through through this warning lights over here. You see it's, we're gonna see a little bit deeper onto this warning systems. And there's actually sounds, this camera does make some sounds. <laughs> and it's it's actually pretty uh, pretty funny when you when you actually hear it for the first time because for for months, I think for years I never heard it making a sound until one day it actually started beeping on me and I'm like what do you talk? <laughs> so uh we're gonna check on that um on the sounds of and the uh, warnings that it, it, it gives you on the next video. Alright, see you guys soon.